AT&T just updated their top tier unlimited plan. The old plan was known as AT&T Unlimited Elite, and it has now been replaced by a new plan called AT&T Unlimited Premium. The old plan, Unlimited Elite, was a fan favorite thanks to its combination of features and perks. So how does this new Unlimited Premium plan stack up? And what's actually different about it anyway? In this video, I'm covering how Unlimited Premium compares to the previous Unlimited Elite plan and how it compares to the top tier offerings from Verizon and T-Mobile. And ultimately, I'm gonna help you answer the question if you should switch or upgrade to the new Unlimited Premium plan. And make sure you watch to the end of the video because I'm covering one cell phone plan in particular that I think is the new best AT&T Unlimited plan. And it may not be the plan you think of. Okay, first, what's new with Unlimited Premium? The previous top tier plan from AT&T was their Unlimited Elite plan. It included unlimited premium data, 40 gigabytes of hotspot data, 4K video streaming, unlimited high-speed data roaming in Canada and Mexico, unlimited high-speed data roaming in 19 Latin American countries, free international texting from the US to 200 destinations, and data roaming available in other countries for $10 per day. In terms of perks, this plan also included six months of Stadia Pro for completely free, and a free subscription to HBO Max. The new unlimited premium plan keeps all of these same great features, except it makes two key changes. One, it upgrades the hotspot data from 40 gigabytes to 50 gigabytes, and two, it removes the free HBO Max subscription. And that's it. Everything else about the unlimited premium plan remains exactly the same. Same price, same international features, and even the same great AT&T Signature discount. As a refresher, for those of you who may have forgotten about it, the AT&T Signature discount saves eligible business employees, AARP members, union members, and students $10 off per line per month. And it saves 25% off the total bill for military veterans, first responders, teachers, and nurses and physicians. It's a pretty great discount and I'm glad it's still here, but are the two new changes to the unlimited premium plan worth it? 10 extra gigabytes of hotspot data in exchange for removing the free HBO Max subscription? In my opinion, absolutely not. HBO Max was a free $15 a month value add-on included with unlimited elite. Now with unlimited premium, AT&T is making customers who want HBO Max sign up separately for the service. That's an extra $180 per year. And sure, it is nice to have the extra 10 gigs of hotspot data, but the truth is very few people will actually use this feature or even notice the extra hotspot data in their plan. It's just not a feature a majority of customers use frequently. On the other hand, I think a lot of people would have loved having the free HBO Max subscription and gotten great use out of it too. So in my opinion, the new unlimited premium plan is a worse value for consumers. Thankfully, there is one AT&T plan that is an awesome value for consumers, so make sure you stick around to the end of the video to find out what plan it is. For now, the next big question is, what happens to existing subscribers on the old unlimited elite plan? I have good news for you. You actually get to keep your old elite plan and you get to keep your free HBO Max subscription. You don't have to switch to the new plan if you don't want to. Okay, next, how does AT&T Unlimited Premium compare to the top tier plans from Verizon and T-Mobile? Here's the full breakdown of AT&T Unlimited Premium versus Verizon 5G Get More versus T-Mobile Magenta Max. You can see AT&T Unlimited Premium includes the same amount of premium data as the other plans, and it ties with Verizon in offering the most hotspot data at 50 gigabytes. In fact, AT&T likely increased the hotspot data from 40 gigabytes to 50 gigabytes specifically to match Verizon's plan offering. Next, AT&T ties with T-Mobile in offering the best video streaming quality at up to 4K resolution. And a big win for AT&T is they offer the best data roaming in Canada and Mexico. AT&T gives you unlimited high-speed data roaming in Canada, Mexico, and 19 other Latin American countries. T-Mobile offers just five gigs of high-speed data roaming in Canada and Mexico per month, and Verizon offers a pitiful one free day of roaming with just half a gig of high-speed data 
in that one free day in Canada and Mexico. Yeah, it's bad. Where AT&T loses its edge is with international roaming. You're paying $10 per day for international data. Even Verizon's plan is a bit better here. You do get that one free international data roaming day per month with that quite pitiful half a gig of high speed data, but it does work in over 210 countries and you get one free day per month. After the free day, you are paying the same $10 per day as with AT&T. The real winner for international data roaming is T-Mobile. Their Magenta Max plan includes free international data roaming in over 210 supported destinations at 2G speeds. And if you want high speed data, you're spending way less than $10 per day. The add-ons are affordable, coming in at either $35 for 10 days or $50 for a full month of service. Again, way less than $10 per day. And finally, we have the perks. And this is where AT&T Unlimited Premium falls flat on its face. It's got six months of free Stadia Pro, which is just embarrassing. Verizon, on the other hand, I mean, look at this. You get Disney Plus for free, Hulu for free, ESPN Plus for free, Apple Music for free, and Apple Arcade or Google Play Pass for free. You also get 600 gigabytes of free Verizon Cloud storage, 50% off the cost of Verizon 5G home internet, or a $30 monthly discount on the Verizon Fios gigabit plan, and even a 50% discount when you add a tablet line to your account. All of this adds up to a whopping $64 per month in extra value added to this plan. Yes, Verizon's plan is the most expensive, but you're also kind of getting what you pay for here. Even T-Mobile's Magenta Max plan has decent perks better than AT&T here. Individuals get a free Netflix basic subscription and families get a free Netflix standard subscription. Plus, you get free in-flight Wi-Fi on GoGo enabled flights. AT&T's free trial of Stadia Pro is just, well, sad. I mean, after the six months, it completely goes away uh, compared to all the other perks you get to keep on both Verizon or T-Mobile. So which of these three plans is best? In my opinion, T-Mobile's Magenta Max plan is the best overall value. It includes great core plan features, good roaming in Canada and Mexico, great options for international roaming, and decent perks with Netflix included for free. Plus, T-Mobile's plan is the cheapest option here. It's just $85 per month for a single line with all taxes and fees included. That alone saves you between $5 and $10 per month. And for families, the price drops to just $43 per line, which is well below the cost of the plans from either AT&T or Verizon. If you don't have good T-Mobile coverage in your area, then I would honestly consider Verizon's plan. Yes, it's the most expensive, but I feel you also get what you pay for here. Verizon includes $64 of extra perks, and they have rapidly been expanding their fast 5G ultra-wideband network, which has been awesome. This gives you speeds ranging from 300 megabits per second to over four gigabits per second. They lit up 46 cities and covered over 90 million people. To me, that's exciting. AT&T's mid-band 5G network, on the other hand, it's in just eight cities. And I'm willing to bet that's a bit fewer than 100 million people. So Verizon would be my next pick over AT&T if you're looking for a premium plan. But what if you do want AT&T coverage? There's no doubting AT&T still has a strong network. So this brings us to my favorite section of the video, the number one best plan on AT&T that you might not have thought of. Now, if you're looking at AT&T's post-paid offerings, I think the new best value plan is their unlimited extra plan. It saves you $10 a month compared to unlimited premium, still gives you plenty of features, and if you wanted to, you could apply your $10 a month savings towards an HBO Max subscription. But there is an even better plan. This is my number one pick for the best plan on AT&T, and it's Cricket's Unlimited More plan. Cricket includes the same unlimited premium data as the unlimited premium AT&T plan, 15 gigs of high-speed hotspot data, the same free data roaming in Canada and Mexico with unlimited high-speed data, and you even get, get this, a free HBO Max subscription with ads. You also get 150 gigs of free cloud storage. And Cricket's plan is 35% less expensive than unlimited premium. Going with Cricket literally saves you over $360 per year, especially since Cricket includes all taxes and fees. 
and families, you would save over $816 per year thanks to Cricket's excellent family discount. So with Cricket Unlimited More, you're getting like 90% of the AT&T Unlimited Premium Plan at a fraction of the cost, giving you what I think is an overall way better value. Yes, video streaming is limited to 480p instead of 4K, but you can easily get around this by using a VPN. You can check out my partner ExpressVPN. I'll leave them linked in the video description if you're interested. It enables 4K video streaming on all cell phone plans. The only real drawback, in my opinion, is that 5G may not work on Android phones if you bring your own device. 5G will work on all Cricket branded Android phones as well as all iPhones either bought directly from Cricket or that are unlocked. But yeah, I think Cricket's unlimited more plan is a great value for the price. I'm Stetson and my goal is to help as many people as possible save money on their cell phone bill. So share this video with one friend if you found it helpful and click the like button below to show your support. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.